Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. Whew, that's a mouthful. And I never can remember what day it is, so I always pause and I have to think about it. So thank you for bearing with me. Hopefully you guys had a good day. I had an amazing day. I got so much accomplished today. I literally am so excited. Um, my girlfriend Vicki came over today. My girlfriend Jessica and her son came over today. They both helped me out. So it was a pretty productive day. I'm very excited. Um, if you're just logging on, please say hi so I know you're here. I think I did hear um, my watch vibrate saying that we were live. Hopefully it is on my iPad. Good evening, Anna. So a couple things before we get started. I mailed out a bunch of these little cards. I know it's probably backwards. You're not going to be able to see it um, this far away anyways. And it was brought to my attention that I forgot to put the October retreat on this little flyer. So the October retreat is still a go. I am not canceling it. It is still up and running. I just apparently was sleeping when I typed these out or I don't know just did maybe didn't have enough coffee um, and I forgot to include the October dates for on these little flyers and this one doesn't have it but I usually put a little magnet on the back of it so you can attach it to your refrigerator so you know when card class is and when retreats are Speaking of retreats, July retreat is right around the corner. I cannot believe we're already in June. Where has this year gone? Like, it is craziness. Um, I think I figured it out a few minutes ago. There's about 10, 11 spots left for the July retreat. So you might want to get your RSVP in ASAP just to secure your spot. Um, hopefully it fills up and... Everybody can get to craft for the entire weekend. Pillow gifts are already underway. Um, I've gotten over half of the pillow gifts done, and they are pretty spectacular. I'm very excited to show you guys and to spoil you for the entire week or weekend, depending if you're coming Monday to Sunday or when the festivities start on Thursday to Sunday. So hopefully we'll get everybody there and we can craft the entire week. Good evening, Susan. Good evening, Darlene. So I am going to show you this um, once I flip the camera down, but I want to just show it kind of upright because once I have to lay it flat, it might not do it justice. But I made this today and it'll be one, it'll be available at the retreat. Um, I am going to change up the paper on the outside just because this is retiring and I was planning on doing it beforehand, but I didn't get around to do it. So I will change this up and it will come as a raw wood. It won't be white. I did paint mine white, but everybody's will be a raw wood. I don't know which way to go, sorry. Um, but it is a calendar and it's a pretty big calendar. So this is this year's June and then this year's July. And I haven't gotten all the months, but August and February. <laughs> I'm a little backwards on my months, but I'm waiting for my pre-order to get here. Um, being a demonstrator, we were able to pre-order a lot of the holiday mini um, catalog stuff. So it's all of fall and um, Halloween and Christmas and all of that amazing stuff. So I didn't want to do any of the other months until I get the product in, which it will be here tomorrow. And everybody's catalogs, cross our fingers, will go out this weekend as well because it is the celebration July and August, which the celebration is stinking amazing. Amazing. It is so much fun. Okay, enough chit-chatting. I think we have lots on. I don't know if I said hello to you, Darlene and Teresa. Hello. Okay, I'm going to flip you over, and I'm going to bring this in. Let me just make sure we are live on my iPad. And I was watching Netflix earlier, so hopefully the volume's down. It is. Okay, so this is what it looks like standing up. I don't even know if it's going to fit in the camera. It really doesn't fit in the camera, um, but it is huge. It is a massive um, calendar. So June I did for Father's Day. July I did for 4th of July. Um, August is teachers, and I loved all of these little things right here. They were so much fun to create. And then I've done February, which is lots of hearts. And then March is butterflies. 
And then April is wishing you a sweet day. And look at this one. Ha <laughs> ha! Amazing. Okay, so this will be a this will be available for the July retreat. I'll have everything done and prepped and ready to go. So that is that. And let me bring this little guy back in. So right here is supposed to be um, the October retreat. So I am going to still have it. I just didn't put it on this little line. But everything else is correct, but we're going to add in the October retreat right there. So let's see. Hello, Beverly and Jessica. Hello, Stephanie. Did I miss anybody? Marie, happy birthday. And thank you for joining us on your birthday. Okay, so today's card, we are featuring the He's the Man 12 by 12 designer series paper. And... Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Oh, no, nope, I did bring it. I just moved it over. My desk is completely clean, which it's never clean, and it was sitting right there beside me. So he's the he's all that stamp set, um, all together for the long haul. I love that because my husband and I do a lot of traveling. Happy birthday to a classic. It is a great man set, and holy smokes, you're amazing. So let me show you this designer series paper. So holy smokes, you're amazing. Look at the pigs and all of the grill things and so much fun. And like the barbecue sauce and the grill, that sentiment with this designer series paper is spot on. And then here's this designer series paper. That's actually what I used for the June Father's Day card or the calendar. But how amazing is this with um, Together In For The Long Haul? Ugh, it is so much fun. And it has a matching die set. Let me bring in the rest of the paper. And then they included something kind of cool that I will show you in a second. So here is some suits, some ties, mustache, bow ties. And this one is the classic cars. And of course, it is all double-sided. So you can use whatever side you want. And we are using this whole set in Saturday's class. Usually we make four cards, but we're actually making five this time. I couldn't stop. So that's the designer series paper. And then let me bring in this fun thing. I don't know what they're called. They're little pop-outs. So you have the hammer. You have um, nice work. You have the little... Um, BW bug. You have some antler ears. So all of these pop out. As you can see, they're coming out of this. And you can use these on your cards as well. So we're going to be using some of these on the cards we're going to be making tonight. I don't usually do a whole lot of man cards, and we need them. So I was super excited to be able to do these for an entire class and for tonight's life. So this is the card we're going to be making. We're using mostly this designer series paper. I did bring in the car one as well, but we're just going to um, change out the different pieces to go on the inside, and or to go on the outside for the sentiment. And on the inside, I put wishing you a happy Father's Day. So I really think this one is going to be my husband's Father's Day card because he definitely grills. So before we get started, I put all of the measurements um, on the description before we went live, but I will definitely go over all of them with you. So this is Sahara Sand. I don't use Sahara Sand very often, but it is um, one of the colors that's in the designer series paper. And I'm going to mat it on a piece of basic. Oh, sorry, I forgot to give you this measurement. So this is five and a half by eight and a half, and I scored it a four and a quarter. And now that I think about it, I think I did the measurements wrong for the card base, but either card base will definitely work. Um, this is our piece of basic black, four by five and a quarter. And then we have a piece of very vanilla that's four by five and a quarter. That's gonna go on the inside so you can write your sentiment on it. And then we have our designer series paper, and you could use whatever size you want, but I really like the pigs. Um, this is three inches by three and three fourths. And this one is two inches by three and three fourths. So these are very simple cards, but I think they will literally say what you're wanting to say. So before we attach this, I do want to show you a little trick. 
So when you have two pieces that you're going to layer onto one, I sometimes find it hard to line them up perfectly so you have an even border around it. So I'm gonna flip them over, line them up at the bottom, and I wanna show you a little trick. I gave these away at um, one of my retreats. I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was last July. And I am just going to tape this together right at the back. So now I have one sheet that I can line up a lot easier than trying to do two. So let's see, definitely, yes, Jessica, we definitely need more man cards. And good evening, Heather, I hope you're feeling better. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive on here and make sure we're going to attach this correctly. I guess if we did it upside down, we could just flip it over because it's not on our card base. So that is attached. We're gonna come in and fold this. Grab your bone folder. Flip our card around. And let's see, I, I think any of these sentiments would work perfectly. Let me bring, let me glue this down and let me bring in, actually I will glue down the piece that goes on the inside, but I always forget to do that. Vicki was over um, putting some of my cards in the little cello bags and she had to put a lot of the insides because I always forget. Okay, best dad award. So let's see, we have Best Dad Award. That definitely is cute. You're flipping awesome. I love that. Oh, you know what? Because we're using the pigs, let's do this little grill. And then let's do, let's do the Best Dad Ever. We're gonna put two of them on here. And you get two sheets of these in. They, can you see they're kind of trying to all pop out? So you get two sheets of them. So let's grab some dimensionals. And four is probably overkill, but that's okay. It's your card. You can put as many as you want on there. So let's do best dad and the little grill. Let's line up the little arrows in the crease. I don't know if it matters, but Again, it's your card. If you don't want it to be in the crease, you don't have to. There we go. And then I do have the wishing you a happy Father's Day. I bet, oh, I can't give this one to Cassie to get to her dad if I give him the same, the same one. Maybe she'll give this to her husband from Lucas. That would work. There you go. Look how easy these cards are to put together. So you're flipping awesome and best dad award. So there's those. Let's do one of the cards. So again, I'm just, oh, it's the same on both sides. So I'm just going to grab this, grab a piece of tape. I'm going to tape this down. So if you're just logging on, um, I just put a piece of tape on the back of it just to hold the two pieces together so it makes it a tiny bit easier to get it straight on your card base. And this one I'm going to use very vanilla. There we go. And I don't need an insert on this one because it's already a light in the color. I don't think I creased that good enough. There we go. So let's Put some adhesive on here. There we go. Let's pull in. Let's see. We could do hooray. Oh, holy smokes, you're the best. Oh, we're using the car though. So let's not do that one. Um, you're stronger than you think. My man. Oh, you're a classic. That would be perfect. And then let's see if this little card will fit. Not fit, but let's see if it'll look good. Oh, I think that looks really cute. Perfection. Look at that. Who would have known? Actually, this paper would be perfect for scrapbooking as well. 
you just pop these little guys out and put it in your scrapbook. Uh, I actually might have to get a couple more sets of this. Not that I have time to scrapbook, but I do like to hoard my scrapbooking paper. I'll eventually get to it. I said once my kids moved out of the house, I'd be able to scrapbook more. And the kids have been out for many years. And I just need to set up another room in my house. <laughs> I keep taking different rooms of the house. There you go. Super easy and super duper cute. It's perfect. Let's do, we have one left of the little piggies. So I just flip it over. I'm definitely going to have a lot of man cards, which is good. I wonder if there's a birthday one. Maybe I'll leave one blank and get a birthday scan. Oops. Actually, I think there might be a birthday image in there. Oh, I almost glued after the wrong piece. Did you guys see that? Nobody saw that, right? There we go. And this um, Sahara sand is light enough where you really wouldn't have to put something on the inside. Um, I just think it kind of just makes your card, it finishes your card. It's the finishing touch. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's do strong and courageous. I don't see, um, oh, there's a hooray. I think hooray could be a birthday. Yeah, I think I'm going to just do that. There's so many possibilities in this set. If you haven't gotten it, it is definitely, it looks like a movie ticket, actually. So there you go. Let's do, I think I just have a couple more, two more. We're just going to add different sen sentiments to it. But it's all the same measurements, designs. Um, you can definitely change it up and use different designer series paper um, in the same set. I would have, but I am finishing up the calendars and I wasn't 100% sure what pieces I needed. So I actually am kind of using some of the scraps from card class. But you could definitely change these up and do different papers. Um, Jessica, this is from the new annual catalog. It's the big catalog. Um, the one that opened up May 1st, I believe, or May 2nd. Um, but it's called He's the Man Sweet, and it comes with um, little gems as well. Let's see, with you, when I'm with you, I'm never lost. Oh, that's not really the same colors, though. Let's do cheers. Oh, there is a birthday. Cheers to another year, maybe? I think so. I think that looks pretty good. And we can actually do this one as well. We'll do my man. Cheers to another year, my man. And this is actually what I'm featuring in this month's class to go. These aren't the cards you're gonna be making. You'll be making some pretty spectacular um, other man cards. Cheers to another year. I'm going to move this over just a tad so I can put this one down at the bottom. There we go. And we have one left. And what sentiment shall we do? Let's see what is in. So there's Hello Handsome, Happy Father's Day, Holy Smokes, You're Amazing, and we're using the cars. Um, Every Day With You is Another Adventure. I don't have my circle punch, so I don't think we're going to be able to use those. I don't have my circle dies, I should say. I should have thought that through on what sentiments I wanted to use. So handy dandy scotch tape. Nobody's ever going to know it's back there. Unless the people that are watching the live. You guys know it's back there. And I do have a couple spots left for card class. So if you are free Saturday morning um, or Saturday late morning, so the first class starts at 8 and the second class starts at 11. So if anyone is free, I do have a few spots left. 
So there we go. And let's see. Hope your day is a grand adventure. I think I'm going to do this one. Holy smokes, you're the best. Um, yes, Jessica, I did have you down. I think we talked about it today or something. I don't know. But yes, I do have you down. Um, Darlene, didn't see a thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm thinking, what are you talking about? But yes, good. Yeah, nobody saw that. So let me put the lid on my ink and let me bring in the cards. I'll actually alternate them a little bit. So this is all using He's the Man Sweet. You get all of these punch outs and you get two um, sheets of the punch out. So you can definitely make quite a few of these fun and amazing cards and put a smile on your man's face. I don't know if that's all going to be in the camera, but so there you go. Super quick, super easy. And if you don't have this designer series paper, but you still want to use these measurements, you can really do anything with it. This is just kind of an idea and example of how to cut your designer series paper to make the different looks on them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And thank you very much for joining me on tonight's live. I will be back on Tuesday. I will see many of you guys on Saturday. Um, if you do have um, open availability for Saturday, definitely let me know and I'll put you down for card class. And Marie, I will get the, the October um, dates. It's usually whatever the holiday is. Um, the holiday is on a Monday, so it starts that Thursday before. And then it's the following weekend after. I don't have the dates right off the top of my head. But if somebody does, definitely type it in. Um, but it will be here in the um, RV garage. So the October, January, and April are here in the RV garage. And then the July one is when we go to the resort in Scottsdale. So if you guys need anything, please feel free to reach out. And I will see everybody on Saturday or on Tuesday for another live. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.